What's up YouTube? What's up Southside Pirates? Now before I get into this video, I want y'all to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And if you feel it more supportive, become a member to my channel for $1.99. It's fine. Like a glass of wine. I can guarantee you that. Two dollars a month. You can't beat it. You feel me? Now I won't be going back over you know what I'm saying? Or how the plug was working with the police. That story is done. So I'm continuing on. Now I'm going to tell you how one of my old homeboys sold to an undercover, you know what I'm saying? Streetwalker. And he got caught up. get them greens in your life they good and they healthy for you so we walk into the store it's like 10 o'clock in the morning you know what I'm saying we walk into the store we went out there to the store to go get some uh, some game blunts you know what I'm saying we finna get our little smoke on in the morning and we getting ready for um, to go back up the street to go play ball so we smoking, we sitting on the porch, you know what I'm saying? Somebody woke up, asked can they get some? And he, like, hey, he, he really sold to him. And like after that, like I, when he was gone, I was like, hey bro, man, hey, you gotta, you gotta watch out, bro. You just can't let anybody, you know what I'm saying? Buy off you. I don't, I don't care how many times you see him, said, you got to be skeptical about the situation, you know what I'm saying? Especially your surroundings. So like I told y'all, like it's like a mini Las Vegas in downtown Lakeland, like close to downtown Lakeland. You got tricks, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of activity, a lot of moving. So you always got to stay on your P's and Q's in the city. But make a long story short, he was like, I was telling him, like, bro, you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be selling to anybody. So, a day, like, two days later, he get ran down. Me and him get ran down because I guess she had some type of recording on her or some stuff like that with a camera. So, me and him get ran down on he got ran down, but they didn't do it together. You know what I'm saying? You know how, like, police operate? They try to catch one by themselves, then they try to catch the other one by themselves. So, like, let me tell you my side, and then I'm going to tell you his side. On my side, I got approached by undercover police. And, like, I've been getting approached by them, you know what I'm saying, because what happened with the other situation, with the plug working with the um, police. So they been running down on me. It's like I'm always look. Listen, I'm always prepared. Questions, anything. I all I got it all up here. I can think real good. So when he ran down on me, he was like, "Hey, you still out?" It was the same guy. Do y'all remind you? It was the same undercover police. Do y'all remind you? He ran down on me. So he was like. So, man, he was like, hey, we're going to need to bring you in, you know what I'm saying, because we got you and your homeboy on video selling to a, um, one of our informants, pretty much. I was like, you didn't see me do that. So, I don't know what you talking about. You ain't see me do that. And he said, oh, what, what about... What about the um? What about the dude that you was? You know what I'm saying, man? I don't know what you talking about, cause I don't know what you talking about. You feel me? So you ain't got me on video doing a goddamn thing. So you can, you can save it. You can do what you want to do. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit after that, he had me hemmed up on the side of the road for about an hour, trying to get questions out of me, trying to break me trying to make me talk because he know 
if he bring me into the station, it's going to be on some illegal type stuff. And that me, that leaves me grounds to sue him. So, he ain't find nothing. He ain't, he ain't find that number record. You know what I'm saying? He, he pretty much he was looking for warrants and stuff. So, I was out there about like a good 45 minutes to an hour. Almost an hour. I'm going to give it to almost an hour mark. You know what I'm saying? It was me. It was my um my other homeboy that we go play ball with. It was just me and him, cause like me and him was going to already walking to the stove. So when we get back from the stove, you know what I'm saying? We walk down the street, going to my homeboy house. We looking as soon as we hit the corner, we see like we see the same narc. The same knock, the darts. Had him wind up, held up. They took him in for questioning and stuff like that. Boom, boom, boom. He got in trouble for selling and he had ended up went to jail for like, what, four months? And he was right back out. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like he was selling a little bit of weed. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing major. So they couldn't really get him like that. But. That was like years ago. That was like in what? Two, 2000 and I say 14, 15, something like that. It was crazy because you see like what you hang around. You see the like the, what people that you surround yourself with. And just things that happen and you just make sure that you want to you know what I'm saying? You want to change your life. That's why I say when I had kids, you know what I'm saying? I looked at my kids as a way to change my life. I was like, I can't live like this no more. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I can't live like this no more. You know what I'm saying? I got to make a change for the better. So when my homeboy got out of jail, he was still on that street stuff. He was like, man, I got to get my money up. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. The white man ain't going to give me a job. You know what I'm saying? My record messed up. I was like, hey, bro. I'm not selling no more, bro. I told him I was done with it. I ain't into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we, like, we staying in the city. We got too many rats around here. People be talking, they be running and telling that. They be trapping all sloppy. They got a lot of traffic at their house. They got cars parked all, you know what I'm saying? I took all that stuff into consideration of like, and then when that K2 stuff hit, bro, listen. That's how a lot of people got caught on the streets. When that K2 stuff came, a lot of people were selling that stuff. A lot of people were smoking that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, you'll see people laid out in front of the street, laid out in front of the trap, high as Cooter Brown. You can't have that around your trap, man. For real. So, I told him I changed my life, you know what I'm saying? And then he ended up going back to jail because, you know what I'm saying, another drug charge. But... You know what I'm saying? This is for like the little kids out there, man. Y'all, y'all ain't got to sell drugs. You know what I'm saying? When you in the hood, I know it's hard. I know it's, it seems like, well, it ain't seeming like we are being oppressed and stuff like that. But you got to get up and work for it. The lot of jits that I knew, they like to kick in those do stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, like you know, hot boy type stuff, and that's what I was surrounded with, I was around a lot of hot boys, I was a hot boy myself, but you know what I'm saying, me having kids, that's how I pretty much God to saved my life, I could have been locked up still to this day, I could have been gone, serious time. But God has blessed me, you know what I'm saying, to move forward in life. And that's that's what it's about. We can't sit up here. And that's why I was like, I'm going to go ahead on and start telling my stories because I shouldn't be ashamed of it. 
to tell my story. This is what made me who I am today to be a good content creator and bring y'all these stories and bring y'all real content. Entertaining content. For real. This is what made me who I am today. And I don't feel bad. I'm not sorry for it. I don't have no regrets. I made it out the gutter. I'm still in the hood though. As y'all can see to my background, like, I don't care. You know what I said? I mind my business, I keep it tight. That's just what it is. But at the end of the day, we got to prevail and we got to want to do better in life. I know all my hood people that's in the hood, yeah, it's hard to break that mentality. It's hard to break that hood mentality. But man, listen, we have to break that generation curse. We have to break it. Just because we stay in the hood and just because we do hood shit don't mean we should be that way for the remainder of our lives. No, no. I tell, I tell all these young kids around here all the time, man. Be better than what I was when I was y'all age. I was in basketball. I was a skateboarder. You know what I'm saying? But that street life, that street life was calling my name. And you know what I'm saying? That's how I ended up doing those things what I used to do back in the day. But I will have more stories coming. You know what I'm saying? I got another one, and I'm going to tell y'all how, you know what I'm saying, I ran to a dude that was finessing. Until next time, though. <laughs> but salute to everybody that's watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all of my Southside Pirates. Salute to Skinny Game. Salute to Scrape Mob. Salute to T.Y. Ray. Salute to Gilbert Arenas. You know what I'm saying? And salute to Sue So Sue Water. Oh, yeah. At the end of the day, y'all, we got to be better. It's your boy Southside TV. Until next time. Arrgh!